Hey, 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 it's, it's Faith, Faith Kids. Kids. I'm Captain Faith. And I'm Captain Joy. Faith Kids, we want you to come along this exciting adventure with us as we get into the message of faith together and look into the Word of God as a family of faith. I'm so excited for this series of faith because the Bible is very clear that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And that's why we have done this series. I know that your faith is gonna be built. You're gonna grow. You're gonna learn to take action in the Word of God. And you're gonna see your life truly transformed Formed and changed. I'm so looking forward to the upcoming episodes of this first series of ours here at Faith Kids. You can keep your eyes open and peeled for exciting characters such as Captain Joy, who's with Woo! us right now. <laughs> and we're going to be seeing Mr. Fit, Mrs. Fit. We'll be seeing Pink Petal, meeting other people such as Professor Fire, Professor Bold, amongst various other characters who you'll be meeting in the upcoming episodes, as well as our very own Christian superheroes, Faith, Faith Man, Man and Faith Woman. We're excited to be a part of this awesome journey with you. We want you to keep along the journey with us, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So simply like us, subscribe, and follow us, as well as keep your eyes open for our website. All you have to do is search Faith Kids, and you'll find us right there. Have, let's go have a look, see what our team have in store for us as we learn a little bit more about the message of faith and as we walk together on this journey of faith. Boys and girls, when we, when we do what the Bible says we must do, that is real faith. But if we just believe and not act upon it, that is mentally agreeing with the Bible. <coughs> help! Hungry. Sir, help. can I help you? I hope so. Oh my word, this man looks sick. Is there a doctor in the house? Right here. How can I help? This man looks sick. Can you please tell me what's wrong with him? Let me check him out. Is he alive? Yes, he is. Okay. We got a very serious problem. Okay. This man is in the final stages of starvation. If he doesn't have anything to eat in the next five minutes, he will die. Oh, I have some fruit here. Sir, you have this fruit. Uh -huh. Sir, you have to eat this fruit or you will die. If I eat this fruit, I will never not die? Yes, go ahead, eat quickly. If I eat this fruit, I will never not die? If I eat this fruit, I will never not die. You have one minute left. One minute? That's right. If I eat this fruit, I will live and not die. Boys and girls, this man didn't really believe that if he ate the fruit, he will live and not die. So that is literally what it is. If you believe in the word of God, you must act upon it. If you don't, you are just mentally agreeing with the Bible. So, act on the word of God and you will not be like this man. Faith Kids, let's get into today's Bible story. Today's Bible story is found in Mark 10 verse 46 to 52. It is a story of blind Bartimaeus. Jesus and his disciples were at Jericho. And blind Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was there. Do you know what he did? He shouted and shouted until Jesus could hear him. And when Jesus heard him, this is what he said. Jesus stopped and said, call him. Because Bartimaeus did not listen to people, when the people said, keep quiet, keep quiet, he did not listen. He just shouted so that the Lord could hear him. After he had shouted, the Lord called him and he was healed because of his faith. Boys and girls, the one thing that I can tell you, don't listen to other people, but stand on your faith and stand on the word of God. Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. Welcome to today's lesson. I am Professor Fire, and you know what happened in the laboratory today? The fire of the Holy Ghost fell. I had to get my goggles on. Man, we had such a great time in the lab. I want to encourage you to get your Bibles, notebooks, highlighters out as we get into the Word of God together. And today, Pink Petal, we're learning a little bit about heart, faith, and mental assets. So yes, I'm Pink Petal, and remember, petals are pink. <laughs> <laughs> so as we get into the Word today, I want you to get ready, be expecting for God to move in your life, and get ready to receive all that God has for you today. So we're talking about heart, faith, or mental ascent. You might think, what on earth are we talking <laughs> about? 
If I have to sum up that title, this is what it means. It means to be a doer of the word. Not just a hearer only, but actually a doer of the word. That's yeah. what that whole thing means. If you are not sure exactly what it means, know this, that the whole thing means this. What we're actually talking about today is that we would be a doer of the word and not just a hearer only. Come on, that's right. And real faith is of the heart. It comes from the heart, you know. Faith is not just a mental thing. It's not just getting faith in your head. Come on. Because if you just have faith in your head and you speak it out your mouth, there's actually going to be no power. And a lot of people, they have positive declarations and all that. That's great. But really, true faith hits your heart, Brad, because when you get into the Word of God and you get a revelation of the Word of God for yourself and it becomes a heart revelation, then when you speak it out your mouth, that's where the power lies. Come on. It's not just getting faith in your head because you can just know about the word and say yes I agree with the word you know I know it I know what the Bible says but you never do what the Bible on, says yes. you're not gonna have fruit in your life if you know what the Bible says and you know what the word's saying but you never do what the word is saying you're not gonna have that fruit in your life and know this that if you believe the word in your heart you will do what the word says so if you truly believe God's word you're going to be a doer of the word not just a hearer only in Romans 10 verse 10 it says this for it is by believing in your heart that you made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved so even right at the onset as you become born again as you become a child of God what first happens you believe in your heart that Jesus rose from the dead and that he, ro he, he rose from the dead, he died on the cross, he rose from the dead. You're believing it in your heart and then what are you doing it? You're confessing it out your mouth. That is very, very important. Right at the onset, so it is, as we continue this faith journey, this walk of faith together, that faith is not just in your head, yeah, but on. you have to get the word of God in your heart. And when you get it in your heart and then speak it out your mouth, that is where the power lies. And this is so powerful, Pink Petal, because Hebrews 11, 6 says that God, uh, He is pleased when we operate by faith. And this is the thing, that we can't just have faith mentally over here or have the word mentally here. It has to become a revelation that when things arise or situations or circumstances arise, it's not that this negativity or the problems come out of us, but we start speaking the promises of God's Word. Faith is what comes out. And that's so important. You know, I have this phone here in front of me. And a lot of the time when you have a phone, you're going to pick it up and you're going to dial the number to whoever you're going to be calling, right? Well, I want to find out from you, Faith Kids, when a problem or a situation arises, do you call the problem or do you call the promise? Because what we have to remember is this, is faith, especially heart faith, is the Word of God being in our hearts, not just in our minds. So when a situation arises or a problem comes, I'm quickly pick up the phone and say, you know, Father, you promised in your word that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loved us. I'm able to pick up the, pick up the phone and call upon the promise and not call the problem. And that's how we're going to see situations overcome in our lives. That's how we're going to see mountains move in our lives. That's how we're going to see bondages or chains broken in our lives when we call upon the promise and not the problem. And that's having a heart full of faith. And this is all based on James 1 verse 22, which says, that we are not just hearers of the word, but we need to Come be on. doers of the word. So this is the thing. When you have a revelation on the inside of you, when you have a heart revelation of the word of God, it changes things. That's right. If your faith is just mental, if you just know the word, but you never do what the word says, it's just mental. It's not going to change your life and it's not going to produce fruit in your life. Mm. It won't change things in your life. But as soon as you take the word of God, you eat it, you meditate on it, you chew on the word and it becomes a heart revelation on Come the on. inside yes. of you. And then you speak it out your mouth. That is where the power lies. Come on. And the word is very clear that we can't just be hearers of the word. Mm. Like we agree with the word. Yes, the Bible says that I agree, but I'm just going to keep living my own own way I'm just gonna keep living the way I want to live thinking that grace will just cover and this is the thing we can't just live however we want to we have to live according to what the Word of God says because it's that that changes your life your life is not going to change you could go years and months and your life won't change but if you take the Word of God and it doesn't just become a head thing like yes I know what the Bible says I'm just not going to do it but you take the promises in the Word you take the principles in the Word and you apply them in your 
your life, yeah. that is when it's going to change your life. You're going to look different. You're going to talk different things in your life. It's going to shift. Things in your life is going to change. Why? Because you're not just hearing the word, but you are doing the word. That is very powerful. So that's so important because this is the powerful powerful thing about this here is that faith will always turn a tragedy into a triumph. This is what faith does. This is why we have our hearts filled with faith. You see, if we just hear us all the word and we don't do anything, we're not being obedient and doing what God's told us to do. What we have to do is to be the doer of what God's told us to do. If we sit around doing nothing, we're not taking any action, nothing's going to be done. And so what we have to do, the important thing is this, is every time we hear the word and then we do the word, we're actually building our faith. Pink Petal, when you do something that God told you to do, doesn't it build your faith seeing Absolutely. the results and you get testimonies? Absolutely. That's what happens. We have to continually keep building our faith, strengthening our faith, growing our faith. That's why we have to have a heart that is faithful, a mind that is filled with faith. And this is so important because I want to read the scripture to you. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27, we see two different builders here. And I want to read this portion of scripture to you. All right. Are you listening? Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27 in the modern English version. It says this, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him, liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. And the rain descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And it did not fall for it was founded upon a rock. So I want you to see here, the storms came, the rains came, and it beat against his house. But the house did not fall, for it was built upon what? The rock. You see, there was a foundation here. But there's another man. Listen to this, faith kids. It says this, And everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, he will be likened like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And then the rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew, and they beat upon the house, and it fell, and it fell apart. Now, this is two different builders, two different people. You see, one had a firm foundation who built his house upon the rock. There was one who was foolish who built his house upon the sand. So when the storms of life came, the one had problems, the one had built it on a problem, the one had built it upon a promise. And this is the important thing. To have a heart of faith, we have to build it on the foundation of God's Word. That is solid. That is rock solid. So when anything comes from the outside, the storms of life come, the rains come, the wind comes, that you will still stand upon the word and nothing will break you, nothing will shake you, the house will not fall apart. Why? Because you've built it upon a strong foundation. And you know, that's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about heart faith, heart faith, or mental ascent. Come on. So that's speaking about, you know, faith is not in your mind. It's not a mental thing. It yes. comes from your heart. Mm. And when it comes from your heart, you speak it out your mouth. That is where the power lies. So maybe you've been saying, you know, I, I, I love Jesus. I'm trying to do this faith thing. But the problem is this. You've been having faith in your mind and you haven't got a revelation of God's word in your heart. When you get a revelation of God's word in your heart and then you speak it out your mouth, that's when your life begins to change. Things begin to change yes. your fruit begins to change everything begins to change and then when you act on the word things change this is very important you don't just hear the word and not do anything because then you're gonna sit years to come months to come still in the same situation why because you didn't act on the word you didn't yeah. take God at his word you didn't hear the word and make it real on the inside of you and then speak it out your mouth this is the thing mental ascent just mentally agrees with the Bible that it's true, but it does nothing about it. So it mentally agrees, yes, the word's true, the word's true, but it does nothing. You're gonna stay in the same place then if you do that. Mental ascent doesn't change anything. It's not gonna change your life. And mental ascenders hear the Bible preached at church year after year, but they never do what they hear. If you're not gonna do what you hear, then your life's not gonna change. Yeah. But if you do what you hear, according Come to on. the Bible, your life will change. Because the Word of God is sharp, it's powerful, it's alive, and it is effective. It's not just a storybook or a fable. Come it on. is true and it is real. And if you'll take God at His Word, your life will change. It's not as if maybe my life will change, I don't think. No, your life will change and you'll begin to be producing fruit in your life. This is the thing. I've got two fruits here, Brad. Mm, I love apples. If <laughs> I had to say this tomato is from a banana tree, would you think that's true? No. 
What if I had to say this is from an orange tree? No, good. Would be. you believe me if I said this apple is from an archie tree? Mm, no, it's not orange. No, you see, you will know them by their fruit. Come so on, you would know, Brad, that this apple is from what tree? It's from an apple tree. It's from an apple tree. You would know that this tomato is from a tomato tree. A tomato tree, okay? So you would know, you will know them by their fruit. Now, for my illustration, let's pretend this. Let's pretend Mr. Tomato over here, he's somebody that's been very in the world, okay? So he's cussing, swearing, he's drinking, partying, um, he's involved in all the, with all the wrong friends, he's doing drugs, all of that, sleeping around with his, with his boyfriend, whatever. This, okay, so he's involved in a whole lot of things, okay? And now he comes to church and his life begins to change. Something begins to happen, okay? And on, he yeah. starts to give up. He, he reads the word of God and he says, you know, drinking, getting drunk, it's gonna do nothing for my life. So he starts leaving all that. He starts stopping to smoke. He, he, he breaks up and he, he, he doesn't get involved in sexual iniquity any longer and all of that. He gets his life right with the Lord. Separates now, yes, himself. he separates mm. himself. Yes. But yes, it doesn't, it's not a short process. It, it took him a few months. It, he sees, he starts to see things in the Word every day, different things, and he starts applying it to his life. It, it's not a quick thing, it's a process, but he applies himself to the process and he takes God at his word and he gets help. He does what it takes to be free. Mm. And, but yet we see Mr. Apple, he's been in church all his life. He knows what the Bible says, yeah. right? But his life still looks the same. He's continued to drink and get drunk every weekend. He, he continues to sleep around. He thinks it's okay, all of that. But yet he's in church, he's saying, hallelujah, praise God, this is amazing. And he's been in church, he hasn't just been in church a few months, okay? We're talking this, Mr. Apple, he's been in church many, 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 many years. Mm. You see, his life has not changed, but Mr. Tomato over here, his life has changed. Why? Because Mr. Tomato over here, even in a short space of time, a few months, he applied himself to the process, Brad. What happened? His life began to change. Yeah. Why? Because he took God at his word and his faith level wasn't mentally. Yes, his that's faith right. began to go on the inside of him, in mm. his heart. heart faith. And when that heart faith became alive, became real on the inside of him, he started speaking out his mouth. His life began to change. His soul began to change. Things began to shift because as you become born again, your spirit, you're a new creature in Come Christ. Yes. But it takes some time for your soul realm to become new and brand new. Why? Because things have to change. You're going to have to make different decisions. You've got to start taking God at your word and it's a process. Come on. That's but right. we can see yeah. So are you going to be a Mr. Tomato or a Mr. Apple? This is the thing you have a choice to make because this real faith changes things. Faith is acting on the word of God. That's what I want to leave with you. Come faith on. is acting on the word and it changes things. If your life is not changing after years and years and years sitting in church, something's wrong. Brad, and we have to make sure that the faith becomes hot on the inside of us and then we speak it out of our mouth and that will change things around. It'll Remember, faith is this. Brad loves to say that faith turns things around. Come on, and that's so important. We want to encourage you to go back, write down some of these notes, make sure that you have all of these keys, these vital keys that were shared by Pink Petal today. Remember to always call upon the promise and not the problem, and make sure that you separate yourself from those friends and from those people that you can bear good fruit. I want to pray with you today that you will not just be a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word as well. So lift your hands to heaven. That's where our help comes from, and I want to pray over you. Father, I thank you for every single faith child, every single faith kid. I thank you, Father, that as they've heard the word today, that they won't just be hearers of the word, but they'll be doers of the word too in Jesus name whatever they go out to do father I thank you that it will please you as they walk by faith in Jesus name amen we want to encourage you to keep tuned to the channel of faith stay right here with us at faith kids and remember as we continue to walk by faith you too will see these promises manifest in your life hey faith kids welcome to another session hope you, hopefully you guys have been practicing your previous exercises which I've taught you because today we are learning some new exercises. I am Mr. Fit and today we are, I'm going to be teaching you some core exercises to get that stomach nice and fit and to get some abs. So our first thing we're going to, I'm going to be teaching you is how to do a proper sit-up. So you can put your feet underneath a, 
a couch at home or get something to hold your feet down. But you're gonna start with your arms crossed. You're gonna go all the way back down to the bottom and come up. Remember to use your core and not your legs. So we're gonna go down and up. Let's do that two more times. Down and up, down and up. Awesome, well done. So for our next exercise, we're gonna be doing Russian twists. Now for that, you're gonna have your feet in the air and you're gonna to touch down with both hands on either side of your body. So left, right, left, right. Now do that with me for three times. One, two, three. Awesome, well done. So for our next exercise, you're gonna be doing some leg raises. Now for that, you're gonna lie flat on your back. You can either put your hands out to the side or under your bum for some help. But you're gonna just lift your legs up all the way to the, the ceiling. Now keep your legs nice and straight and back down. Try not to touch your feet on the ground. Then come all the way back up and down and up. Two more times, down and up. Well done. All right, so for our next exercise, we're gonna go into plank position because we're learning a plank. So that is straight body, put your elbows on the ground. Remember to keep your body nice and straight. The bum mustn't be too high, not too low because you're gonna hurt your back like that. Keep it nice and up and tense your core. You just squeeze those abs, squeeze your bum cheeks as well because that helps. And then let's just remain there for another five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. And from there, we can also go to a side plank. So there's a lot of other exercises you can do from that. Right, so for the next one, we're gonna go into push-up position. And these are called mountain climbers. So you're gonna bring your knee to the front of your body and back down. Knee to the front, back down. Remember to keep your foot off the ground. So knee to the front and back. And you can go nice and fast or slow. All right, let's do that with me. Again, nice and fast and slow. Awesome. Well done. And remember not to only stay spiritually fit, but also physically fit. See you next time. Hey, Faith Kids. Today we'll be doing a heart craft. What will you need? You will need colorful paper, colors, glue stick, pencil, ruler, permanent marker, and scissors. So the first thing you have to do, take the colorful paper, but I will use the blank paper to show you how it's done. You fold it in half. And then you fold it in half again. And then, if you want to draw your heart, you can draw it. But with me, I prefer to cut it straight on the paper. So this is how you do it. You cut it. And this is how it will look. And you can open your heart. And then, this is what we will write in the heart, on top of the heart here. So you can write James 1 verse 22. And it says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving, you are only deceiving yourself. So what does that mean? It means you do what the word of God says. And I already wrote it here. It's James 1 verse 22. And it says, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. And then on the inside, you can write, faith is acting on the word of God. So the heart re reminds you guys of what the word of God says. The word of God says we have to do what it says and not just listen to the word of God. So after you've done your heart, you can take your heart and paste it on, a, on your wall where you can see it every day. Remember, let's keep being creative. Hello, Faith Kids, you with Miss Sprinkles. Today we'll be making cheesy bacon French 
toast triangles. Are you ready? That was a whole mouthful, but listen, I know you're gonna enjoy it, okay? Today, you will be needing your ingredients is breadcrumbs, one egg, I already beat mine up, okay? And then you have bacon bits, or you can use ham, whatever you have in the fridge that you actually wanna you know, get rid of, I'm joking. And a slice of bread with no crust on, okay? There you have it. So, you will add your bacon, not too much, because you must make sure that you can actually form it into a triangle. And then, you form it into a triangle, like that. As you can see, there we go, triangle. And then, you use your fork, if you want to like make like grooves around it to actually um, seal it, okay? And then you make your grooves like that there. I will show you now. And then you go like that. And then you dip it in your egg, your beat, like you beat your egg up obviously. And then you dip it in some breadcrumbs, okay? Breadcrumbs. And I already have ready-made ones, so I'm gonna show you now. And there you have your ready-made ones. And I wanna taste it because I, I it looks amazing. It looks, it tastes divine and it looks amazing. Listen, I hope you enjoyed it. With me, Miss Sprinkles in the bakery, happy baking. Hey faith kids, let's jump into today's memory verse and today's memory verse can be found in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 10 and it goes as follows. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. Trust that scripture blessed you and stay blessed. Remember, Keep walking in faith. Hey faith kids, you can never be able to walk by faith unless you have a personal relationship with the Lord. As the Bible says, you have to confess and believe in your heart. You can repeat after me if you wanna make Jesus the Lord over your life. Let's say it together. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me of my sins, wash me, cleanse me, set me free. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I believe that you are risen and that you are coming back again for me. I am saved, I am born again, and I'm on my way to heaven. I know my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. I am saved in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, boys and girls, we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith Kids, I trust that you enjoyed that episode on learning a little bit more about the message of faith. We want to encourage you to send us a DM on Instagram or Facebook if you have any questions where we can help you in your journey of faith. And just like when you go into water, you get wet. So too, when you are listening to the Word and hearing the Word of God, it's a natural result of getting faith when you do that. And that's exactly what's happened today. I believe your faith has been built and your life will never be the same again. It's that message of faith that brings life to you and turns things around. And we're believing that God is turning things around for you in your life and in your family. Remember that God has good things in store for those who choose to walk and live by faith. Until next time, remember, Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you, we love you, and we will see you soon.